Well, welcome everybody to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, broadcasting live from Sedona, Arizona. Sending you lots of love and light to you from this powerful, majestic place that I consider to be my home. At least it's my spiritual home. Um, lots of energy here. It's, it's a very exquisite um, place that exists. I don't know if it's on the planet Earth or it's a shift in your consciousness because sometimes when I drive to Sedona, Arizona um, and I get here, I don't always feel like I've sh driven the land or I shifted, I went, uh, it was a change of a geographical place on the map. Sometimes I'm wondering if I traveled in my psyche so, and how can you tell the difference that you're traveling in your psyche or you're traveling on land? Which one is true? When you travel, do you actually physically get in a car or a plane and change a location on the planet? or you are traveling in your consciousness. So for me, a lot of times it happens when I do come to Sedona, Arizona, this place, I don't know if it does exist on planet Earth. There are a few places I've been on the planet. Um, so I don't know the difference, you understand? So, but I leave it like that. It's just a question. Uh, and sometimes you can ask yourself, how do you know? How do you know which is which? Basically, you wake up every day, follow some kind of routine that you have. And you have this sense that you're the one who's deciding what to do. You're choosing for yourself. So that sense, it creates this notion that you're separated from the whole, that you are an individual, a person capable of making your own choices and you're in control of your own destiny. That's a feeling you have. So then things don't go your way because you're in charge, you're powerful, you're the almighty one. You have this sense that you're the creator of your own life. However, things don't go your way. And you're wondering sometimes why. So you look for ways, techniques, methods of how you can manipulate things so they can go your way, including how you can manipulate the people around you so they would do what you want them to do. So again, it's the same story. You, you're not aware of it a lot of times. You're not aware that you're trying to manipulate people around you. And you're not aware that you're trying to manipulate circumstances to go around you because the awareness is not there. You're just a program. And the program keeps doing what it does. It's kind of like a robotic reaction. And you never question 
that there's, for most people, there's not a moment of questioning that maybe I am not in control of anything. And something else is running through me. Something else is controlling me. You never question. Most people on the planet never question that. So the first thing I want you to do and pay attention to is, is the most simple thing possible is if you are in control, you're calling the shots, then why throughout the day, you may be feeling tired you may be depressed, you may not be in a mood, you are not motivated to do certain things. You, you go through mood swings, you have anxiety, you may get afraid, you're really bored with life, you're bored with yourself, so why can't you control these emotions, these thoughts, and why can't you control your body, your energy level? Why aren't you control of any of it? You're in control of your life. You're the one who calls the shots. So, but pay attention like throughout the day, how much of your activities, your decisions, the moves you make, the things you do is based on how your body is feeling. So if one day you just feel tired all day, is that the day that you're gonna start a project? Let's say you, you say, I'm in control of my life. I'm the one who calls the shots. I have free will. I've taken all of these spiritual courses and I'm working on myself right now to build this up inside me. But okay, just I want you to pay attention that throughout day-to-day -day life, the actions, the stuff you do is based on how your body is feeling, your energy level. Now, if you are working for someone else, you have a job and you have to go to work. I'm not talking about COVID-19 time. I'm talking about the old days. So you have to go to the office and you wake up in the morning and you feel really tired for no reason and your body's not into it, but you have to force yourself to go to work. So you drag yourself to work because you don't want to lose your job and you just go through the motions and you hate it 